Since I was young, I have been interested in science. I was born in Congo. And when I was a few years old, the war started in Congo. So we were like hiding back and forth in different places in Congo and then moved to Rwanda. So we were welcomed by UN. And so they put us in small refugee camp in Rwanda. Uh, it was unfortunately bad because that time there were a lot of rebels at, um, from Rwanda. They were crossing the border from Congo and attacking Rwanda. Then unfortunately they attacked our refugee camp. They killed a lot of people. We moved to different refugee camp in Rwanda. I've been there over 10 years and the experience it was a place where there is not enough food, enough uh, medication, uh, enough water. Many times I went to sleep without food. The end of 2010, we have opportunity to come to Buffalo. So we were welcomed by uh, Catholic charities. They provided our necessary needs, teach us English. I started from ECC. That was very important for me because they trained me from the ground. I had my neighbor, Dr. Norman. And Dr. Norman, he was a professor at, at Buffalo State. And then when I was finishing ECC, he was like, hey, you should apply to UB, especially in chemical engineering based on your interests. I first met Emmanuel in 2013. When I was his undergraduate advisor, I was astonished by his life story. I cannot expect that he can be so successful in the professional development at that time. Since undergraduate, my PhD advisor, he supported me. And when I was graduating, finish up my master's, he said, oh, you can try two more years or three more years to get your PhD. And when I was completing my PhD, Dr. Yin, Dr. Cheng, uh, they were like, oh, maybe you should pursue a postdoc. And pursuing my postdoc, I want to develop a material, a renewable material, to use them to capture CO2 and store CO2 or remove chemical from water. Emmanuel has overcome exceptional life challenges and uh, still move forward by his courage and uh, perseverance. If I was going to tell the kids in the refugee camp, one time, a time will come where you will not be no longer in the refugee camp. When that time comes, use the chance you have to learn as much as you can. It's okay to fail, it's fine. For me, I fail many times, but I keep moving because I knew the, what I'm doing is, just, is not just me, it's for me, my family, and the community, and entire society need my contribution. So that's why I wake up in the morning and want to motivate everyone using my experience.